To solve this integral, we will need one of the three trig substitution. Well, a squared plus x squared looks awfully like a tan theta. Therefore, we will use this. We will do x is equal to a tan theta. If you don't already have this in your notebook, feel free to pause the video and write it down in your notebook because it is very helpful. Now, we can set x is equal to a tan theta, dx is equal to a sec squared theta d theta, and theta is equal to, we take the inverse of tan theta, which is arctan, and then we divide by a, we divide by a right here, x over a. Because we're doing a trig sub and it is a definite integral, we need to change bounds. Therefore, when theta is equal to a, then this is equal to arctan of a over a, which is a over a, it's just one, so we can write that here, is equal to pi over four. Theta, when x is equal to zero, which is arctan of zero, it's zero. Now that we have everything we need to solve the problem, let's do it. So now, because we're doing a trig sub, this is now going to be the integral from zero to pi over four of one over a squared plus our substitution. Remember, x is equal to a tan theta. Therefore, this is a tan theta tan squared theta because this is squared to the three halves times Remember, dx is equal to a sec theta, sorry, a sec squared theta d theta times a sec squared theta d theta. We can um, simplify a little bit. So we see that we have a, a squared, and a squared right here. We can pull it out of the parenthesis, this will become a squared to the 3 halves times 1 plus tan squared, squared theta to the 3 halves times a sec squared theta d theta. Remember that a is a constant, and whenever we have a constant in an integral, we can pull it out. Therefore, this is just equal to 1 over a cubed. 0 pi over 4 and this right here is a identity trig identity and we know that 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta we can therefore write it as sec squared theta 3 to the 3 halves times a sec squared theta d theta but we also have an a here Therefore, we can just pull it out and write it right here. Oops. Right here. This will become 1 over a squared because this is to the 1. Seek squared theta, it's the same. If we rewrite it, this is the same as this. But we have, we know that this is to another power, and that other power is 3 halves. So we can write it this way to the 3 halves, which is equal to seek cube theta. We have seek cube theta times seek squared theta d theta. We can further simplify 
this will become 1 over sec theta d theta. And we can solve the integral. Remember that, once again, remember that 1 over sec theta is equal to 1 over 1 over cos theta, which is just equal to cos theta. Because sec theta is equal to 1 over cos theta. The integral is therefore over pi over 4 is equal to cos theta d theta. This is equal to 1 over a squared sine theta pi over 4 over zero, uh, to 0 to pi over 4, sorry. And we can solve. So 1 over a squared sine of pi over 4 minus 0 because sine is 0 is 0 and we know that sine of pi over 4 is just um, square root of 2 over 2 over a squared and we can write it as the square root of 2 over 2 a squared and that is our final answer.